Today we are having a productive Monday. I am starting this at 7.20 in the morning. I just woke up, I have only read my Bible, and I wanna take you guys from the moment that I woke up to the moment I go to sleep, getting a bunch of things done. I love watching these videos, I find them very motivating, so I wanted to just give you guys some inspiration for kicking off your week in a productive way. Last night I went ahead and made our list for today. I kinda of like to do this the night before. It helps me wake up and be just a little bit more stress-free as opposed to getting overwhelmed making this in the morning so I will read you guys the game plan for today I want to get a workout in we're about to do that here shortly walk cash I want to wash our bedding because we're doing something exciting in a second but I'm gonna wait till Aiden wakes up a couple of work things I need to get done building our bed frame because today is the day I also need to take apart our box frame and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be pretty easy I don't think I'm gonna need Aiden's help when he's in the office I want to tidy deep clean the fridge organize our spice drawers vacuum mop vacuum the couch clean the bathroom a bunch of cleaning tasks today i want to organize my calendar do a financial update possibly make some pumpkin spice syrup i've seen a lot of people doing that lately i really want to do that make some chili in our crock pot and then a couple more work things so that's the agenda it is obviously quite a few things so we're gonna go ahead and get started on this monday let the days be past days of trying I'm now about to head to the gym, but I'm gonna make myself a water beforehand. Something that I like to do, especially on the days when I can tell I'm gonna forget to drink water, is use my water drop tablets. I've talked about water drop before, and if you're someone who struggles with drinking enough water, please don't skip over this section because water drop is amazing. They have helped me drink so much more water. I use them throughout my normal routine, and I just love their flavors so much. Essentially, water drop has these micro drinks, and they have a bunch of different flavors, although I will say, they're very light. They're not really like you're drinking say a soda or something where the taste is really strong They taste just like a fruit infused water because that is basically what they are They're infused with real plants and real fruit to give you that just really nice crisp taste to also help you drink more water There's about five calories in a tablet and they have a bunch of just good ingredients as well in them So this one is the breeze flavor. This is one of their new ones This one is watermelon cucumber and this one is definitely my favorite one. It has zero sugar non-gmo vegan gluten and free and then also what's cool is that they have different vitamins in them which you guys know I've been trying to up my supplement game lately and just make sure I'm getting more vitamins into my diet and so the breeze one specifically has vitamin C B6 B7 so just a bunch of stuff I've also been using this as my replacement for my afternoon coffee which you guys know I've been trying to switch out and it's nice to just have something that tastes different that's kind of curing that desire to have a unique drink in the afternoon but is not giving me caffeine or anything. They also have a bunch of really, really stunning water bottles on their website. This one is my favorite one. I've been using this all the time. It's just this frosted pink glass. I think these would also make a great gift if you have someone who also struggles with drinking water. You can use my code READ15 and that will get you 15% off your order from Waterdrop. I will have them linked at the top of the description box. Such a fan of Waterdrop. I love what they're doing. I love that they're helping us stay hydrated and that's important on the busy days. my workout it ended up being pretty crowded so I didn't get too many clips on there I was trying to take a few kind of sneaky videos but there were a lot of people which was totally fine and still got a good workout in I did a legs and cardio workout from Sydney Cummings and now we're doing the most exciting thing of this video and that is building our bed frame so right now we just have our mattress here but I need to take apart the box frame like I mentioned so we're gonna do that first clear out the bedroom move the nightstands because I think the bed frame is gonna take up a lot of space and then Get to build in.
box frame. We're gonna store that in our storage unit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and actually place all of the boxes. I think they're pretty heavy, so I'm hoping I'm able to transport them all, but I feel like I'm stronger now. So Aiden's at work and I just wanna do this right now, so. My goodness, what an afternoon it's been. Obviously, I'm standing in a room without a bed because I realized after unboxing this bed that it is missing the screws to put it together. It has some of the hardware, but it doesn't have the actual screws that you need. And so I just got off the phone filing a claim. I don't really know how soon I'm gonna get these either. And I know there are so many bigger problems in the world. I totally recognize it. This is not a big deal. I just think it's crazy how many hurdles there have been with this bed frame, with the other one not getting delivered, finally getting this one. And now we just spent this past weekend like clearing out all this space to build this this weekend, got a storage unit and it doesn't have the screws. So I'm trying to see if we can buy screws at the hardware store. I'm pretty sure you have to use the ones that it comes with. So, and the reason why I feel more urgency with this is because as a creator, my home is really my workspace. It's where I create content. It's really important to have a place that's least functional. And I feel like this bedroom has been so cluttered and not functional for months now. And just my personality type, I do not do well in that kind of environment. I was so looking forward to finally like clearing out our entire apartment, but sometimes life just does not go to plan. And I'm trying not to get frustrated about it because it's really not a big deal. It's gonna be okay. I also am wanting to film a morning routine next week. So I was trying to finish up a lot of our bedroom to do that because I really care about my videos and I want them to look a certain way. And I, I don't know, I just feel like when I'm watching YouTube videos, I like when it's pleasing to look at, but our bedroom is just not right now. And that is just reality. That's how life is. Sometimes it is totally okay. And I'm just gonna work with what I can control. I do have a lot of trash. I still need to take out from those boxes. I went through all the trash too. and. The screws weren't in there, but they're just too heavy. I need Aiden to help me. So I'm gonna wait till he gets home. And until then, I'm just gonna do my cleaning. I'm gonna focus on what I can control. During our move, one of our lamps actually shattered. So we have two mismatch ones, which I'm still gonna keep. I prefer to have matching ones on our nightstand. So I picked up these from the Studio Mickey line at Target. And I think they're so cute. I love the wicker. I think because our bed frame is so modern. It'll be nice to put something like this next to it. I still am gonna keep the receipt to double check if I still wanna keep them, but I think they're super cute. And I'm gonna put these together when we do actually put together the bed. Taking a little bit of a cleaning break to start our chili. It's only two o'clock, but the thing that's nice about doing slow cooker recipes is you make them ahead of time and they're ready. So I'm making a kind of healthier turkey chili recipe. I'm really excited because it is my first time this season breaking out the crock pot, which is always exciting. It always reminds me of that meme. I don't know if you guys have seen it where it's like, you knew that dinner was not gonna be great when you saw one of these sitting on the counter, which I just think is so funny because when you're a kid, things like chili just seem really boring. But as an adult, I'm like, oh my goodness, I love me some chili. <laughs> I'm not gonna clean out the fridge. The fridge has become a disaster. There is just a lot in there that needs to be clean. Because I'm already in the kitchen, I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. I'll show you guys a before. Here's our before. It is chaos and I'm actually gonna take everything out and wipe down all the shelves. I like to do this once a month or so and I just haven't done that in a bit. So we're gonna go for it. Here's our after. 
it really doesn't look that organized, especially this stuff. I need to figure out a better system for this, but at least I know everything in here is not expired. It's all ready to be eaten. I don't have anything that needs to be thrown out. Now it's time to tackle these. These are two drawers that have gotten chaotic and there's some spillage here. I also need to funnel some of these empty ones with these replacement ones, but I don't know where my funnel is. So I don't think I'm gonna do that today, but I'm at least gonna organize it a little bit. Now we're in the bathroom. I wanna do some cleaning in here. It's been a while since we cleaned the surfaces and then also the toilet. And then I'm gonna vacuum after I clean the surfaces out there and then we'll do some mopping too. Just finished in the bathroom and I went ahead and switched out these light bulbs because a couple of them were out and I'm realizing how weak the bulbs were before because it is so bright. Now it is so much brighter. It definitely is still yellow, which I don't really mind, but it's so nice. I feel like you can really see yourself in the bathroom now. But now to do some more surface wiping and then vacuuming. Riding out the waves, all the ebbs Stronger now Used to toss me about I'm wiser now Feel the tide come in Know the feeling now Used to lose my ground I'm wiser now I have decided that today is just not my day. As you just saw, my tripod fell over and it jammed my normal lens. Thankfully, I have this lens, which is a wide angle. I don't really love using it because I don't find it as crisp as I like, but in the meantime, we're gonna use this. I have a new lens on the way. It should get here on Wednesday. Thankful for Amazon and their quick delivery, but oh my goodness, I do not know what it is about this day where back to cleaning. <music> sitting down to do a couple of work things. It's about three o'clock right now and I am just going to do two things mainly. The first thing, it's the last week of September, which is so crazy. And at the end of the month, I used to do those kind of monthly reset videos, but lately I've just been going over my calendar and making sure everything is organized for the next week or so, making sure I have all my dates put in. I like to look over the month ahead and just make sure my calendar is all organized. I just use Google Calendar, make sure all of my brand stuff, my work-related things are all done in there. And then I'm also gonna do a few financial things. I like to go through and as often as I remember to do my expenses for my business. And I also like to go over kind of spending stuff and put together a few numbers because Aiden makes an end of the month report of our savings and everything and our investments. And I like to put some things together for him. So that is the game plan for the next hour or so. <laughs> Fire 
go Peace comes as we pass Breathing in deep Until there's calm Are we even surprised that I threw on this set again? I told you guys I was gonna wear it every day and I have kept my word so far, but Aiden and I actually just went for a nice walk. I felt like I really needed to just decompress and be off camera and really just have some nice chats. And it's so nice outside right now. We had a storm blow through yesterday and so it's like 80 degrees, which just feels really nice. And now it's nice because I don't have to make dinner because of the chili, but something I do wanna do is make a pumpkin syrup. So my friend Jacqueline Brooke actually posted one on her Instagram that looks really good. So I'm gonna make hers i also got these super cute jars from amazon i got another one in case i wanted to make like a vanilla syrup or something they're so cute i'll link these down below too but we're just gonna have a nice little cozy evening making our syrup and enjoying things Until there's cold, only i'll make still about to watch a show for a little bit. We've been watching Curb Your Enthusiasm at night because it's just the best kind of feel good show. And we're gonna head to bed. And I just wanted to say that despite the bed situation not working out and the few other things that happened, I'm so grateful that I got to spend time with you guys and also just so grateful to even have a bed to sleep in. I was just thinking about that when I was putting together a bed that even when things don't go entirely to plan, small things, big things, there are always things to be grateful for. And I'm just so grateful for you guys and so grateful for this community on here. Grateful for a nice warm shower, grateful for Aiden's t-shirt to sleep in because they're always the comfiest to sleep in before bed and just the chance to wake up and start fresh tomorrow so thank you guys for spending this productive day with me i hope you guys enjoyed i hope it made you feel motivated and i will catch you guys in my next